Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Plan on Crossing New Horizons. As you can see here, August 6th, Friday, 8 17 pm. So, let's see what we have in the mail. Oh, letter from Poppy. Whoa, so your birthday present was really something. I never expected that any of my friends would be so generous. I hope you let me give you this gift in return because I want to show you my appreciation. My hair fell. Thanks, Poppy. Thank you, Poppy. Check it out, Guru. I bet you've never seen art like this, never before. Hi, guys. Let's see. Something tells me, tells me this is going to be some fake artwork or something. Jester mask. Oh. Oh, it even matches. Okay, it's red. Thank you, Poppy. Poppy, I mean. Mystic statue. Huh. Misty statue. Is it the same as Mystic Mac? Because it's not that mystic. If... I think this one is fake. I don't know. We'll stick it to the ladder and see what happens. But yeah, guys. Hope you guys are having a great time. Um, I'm not having a great time over here, really. Um, where I'm living is really going to shit, basically. And we're back with the lockdown thing, and now they're pretty, being pretty draconian here. So, yeah. I know what you guys are thinking, Zero. Bug out. Bug out, man. Not worth it. True. 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 Oh, so that's just here. Okay, let's see. What you got here? Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, Leo sculpture. Oh, I think Capricorn is the one that. Okay, oh, whoa, wow. The Leo ones. This is pretty badass. Star fragment, Leo fragments. Okay, so I need Leo fragments. Nice. So next time I see shooting stars, I have to get them. Well, it looks like they could be shooting stars when the sky is pretty purplish like that. Or it could be, but I'm not wearing headphones right now. Um, oh yeah, I have to say sorry about um, the later part of yesterday's episode. It was, well, yeah, I was, you know, I, I didn't have my headphones on, so I was... Oh, Sahara is here. So I was speaking really slow, lowly I mean. Okay, Sahara. But yeah, guys, uh, I know what you guys are, are saying, so you're bug out. And yeah, that's pretty much the plan. I mean, it, it, it's not gonna be worth it here. The thing is that where I live, everything comes out of the US, right? So the food, the vegetables, a big majority, like. I, I'm guessing around 80 to 90 percent of the stuff comes from other states and here we don't produce anything basically and we don't have big gang animals or anything like that so it's pretty much um, what you guys have seen in Venezuela and Cuba that's exactly the same thing is gonna happen and the thing is the problem is not the how can I say this without YouTube um, censoring me or anything like that? The bug. It, it, it's not the bug. That's not the problem. The problem is inflation. The, the problem is that we're basically on the verge of a Great Depression. And if that happens, well, things are gonna go crazy and over here. It's gonna get so crazy that it's gonna be scared. Scary and the other thing here is that we are gone loss are pretty bad here and they well it's not easy to get legally legally illegal you can get anything you want trust me and and, bef and before you say ah oh, it's because of that that you don't have a lot of shooting. No, we have a lot of shootings and stuff. Um, it's not Chicago levels, but it, it gets pretty close. <laughs> That's the thing. And the thing is that, man, oh, always since a kid, I mean, since freaking 
elementary school. I, I have seen other people with guns, like illegal guns, like carrying them in school. I, I remember uh, one time in elementary school, one of my friends was like, hey, last year of elementary school, he was like, oh yeah, dude, I'm not doing much, just bored and stuff. And he opened his bag and he had a Uzi inside it. I was like, dude, is that a real Uzi? Oh yeah, check it out. And he gave it to me. I was like, oh, this real thing? Yeah, just don't squeeze the trigger. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty something. So let's see what we have in the bottle here. Dear person, oh no. I found a recipe in an old dinosaur book I didn't know I still had. That dino's gotta be real mad by now. It's real easy. My head was stuck in my shirt and I still did the DIY. Be careful when YDI does a joke. Uh, cardboard bed. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. So we got crosswalk, flooring, office wall, red wavy rug, white chocolate wall, and yellow vinyl sheet, so nothing really that I really want. But yeah, that's the problem here and the thing, like I said, there is really no animals to hunt here. Like, I, there's cows, but those cows have, you know, belong to people. And I guess you can get a one us, but honestly, who's... Like, I, I, I know in Florida people hunt them and eat the meat, but, oh, man, <laughs> no thank you, no thank you, I mean, I don't have anything against iguanas or lizards or anything like that, and trust me, if dinosaurs were still real, I would have a dino, who wouldn't have a freaking T-Rex, right? But, it, it's not... The, the, the people here are just not equipped or have that that gung-ho attitude that many people in the US have. A lot of people here just like it like to take it really easy and they really don't possess those survival skills that oh honestly you need. And I'm not saying I have them all dialed up. I know a few things, but I don't. If where you're at, you're not getting anything, Bear Grylls is not gonna save you, that's for sure. Man, that guy is stuck in a hotel. You know, he, he should do Survivor Man Hotel Edition. Like Marriott or something like that. Uh, nothing here to buy. And so it goes for here. Yeah. But yeah, that's the problem we have here. And man, I, I honestly think about bugging out this island for many, 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 many years. Like, I know some family members would live. We'll listen to this and be oh, you're doing this recently. No, dude. No. No. Minimum, it has been, don't say, six to eight years, honestly. That's how long I've been thinking of bugging out this place. And I would have already done it if it wasn't for the bug, that's for sure. I would have done it. No questions asked, no, you know, I wouldn't have thought of it twice, honestly, because, to be honest, I don't have anything here. I don't have a business here. I don't have a career here. I don't have anything else here. The only thing that I have is family, and sadly, eh, I'm guessing that's kind of falling apart anyways, especially here, so, you know. Just people making stuff harder than it shouldn't be. So, yeah. 
eh, I know some family members are gonna watch this and probably gonna be pissed off, so let me tell you right now, fuck you. Yeah. You don't like it? You don't like what I said? Well, I'm just being honest and truth. Truthful. You know, so let's talk to you. Fabler. Porcupine. Say he will hedgehog, I mean. It's sore silences. I'm inside the chapel all day, but sunny weather helps me work faster. Or maybe it's just I'm making sure sleeves. Or it could be a combination of both. Okay, so we have basketball tank, color block thruster, pineapple aloha shirt, pocket tee, soccer uniform top, and that's it. Nothing. Well, house print dress. Oh, it is house print. It does have different looks of houses. Okay. Nope. 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 And nope. Yeah, nothing. But yeah, guys, that's the situation going on here. Sucks. Sucks. Beautiful place, but man, nobody wants to fight back. Nobody wants to stand up for their rights. Nobody wants to do anything like that. So, I guess we get what we deserve, but I'm not gonna pay for it. You can call me a coward. You can call me weak. You can call me anything you want. Sorry. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna live under a dictatorship. Sorry about that. No, thank you. Especially one that won't have any opposition or anything like that. Eh, basically, Cuba 2.0. Well, let me show you guys the. Okay, this is the crosswalk. Huh. Interesting. Looks nice. Okay, office wall. Eh, I don't like it. I, I wish there was other stuff instead of just being that. And you can't open the blinds or anything. Wish you could. Maybe see a city or something. That's the red way be rug there white chocolate wall I think I already have this one oh. mm. looks yummy actually and you can see the wrapper there so it's basically white chocolate bars nice and this one. I already had this one Oh yeah, I didn't check on um, the new shopping app. Nothing. Oh, I already have this item. This was one of the first items that I had. The Cowherd and Weaver Girl Day. But I'm pretty sure I didn't get it from... Cowherd and Weaver Girl Day, based on the Star Cross story of two lovers who were only allowed to meet once per year. Perhaps you think of reuniting with someone dear to you when you wear this special outfit. Hmm. Nice. This is the only he man, which is pretty much the same, but male, female, that's it. Okay. Well yeah, nothing else for us to do honestly. But yeah guys. That's what's going on. So, if you're thinking of bugging out, I don't know how everything is going on. I'll give it up to the end of October. Honestly.
that's probably going to be your last chance to bug out. But make sure you stay safe. If you're in a state that lets you have your firearms stuck up, stuck up on food and everything and stuff like that, because you might need it. Hopefully this thing stops, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, don't worry about the bug. Worry about the big gorilla that is going around. That's the one we have to worry about. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.